رضيت بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا This is something that you should say every morning three times in the morning and three times before you sleep. It's meant to be something that you say out loud that reminds you of what you should feel inside and try to bring yourself to that contentment. What it simply means is, I'm pleased with Allah. I'm content with Allah. And it might be that you had a really bad day. It might be that you had a really rough day. But you remind yourself, hold on a second. I'm always happy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I always have Allah because Allah always has my back. Allah is not unaware of my condition. And whatever has happened to me isn't because Allah is not there, isn't because Allah doesn't know what it is, isn't because Allah doesn't, isn't able to help me. I'm happy with Allah and I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a plan and a purpose for me. That whatever experience, good, bad or ugly, that I've faced in my day, in my week, in my month, it's just a dot in the great picture and tapestry of my life. It's a moment of darkness, it's a a dark spot, but in the rest of my life, there is a huge, beautiful, sun-filled picture. And the moments that define us are not only the moments of happiness, or the moments of sorrow, but it is the moments of all of our life experience in general. And as you begin to grow older, you're going to recognize not to hold things too much in your heart. I pray, inshallah, that these words will be able to assist you in that. To be able to say, رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّ I'm happy with Allah. I'm happy with Allah even though I'm suffering with this illness at the moment. I'm happy with Allah even though my mom and dad are splitting apart. I'm happy with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though I have a little bit of difficulty at school and I'm not doing as well as I thought or the friends that I had are giving me a tough time and I don't feel as connected to them. I'm happy with Allah in whatever circumstance it is and I'm able to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance because the next step, وَبِلْ إِسْلَامِ دِينَ And I'm content. I'm happy with Islam as my way of life. And if other people don't wear hijab, I'm happy with my hijab because I'm happy to be a Muslim. I'm happy with my prayer. I'm happy to rise up before the sun rises to honor Allah and to ask Allah for His favor to help me with those problems, to help me keep the happiness that I have, not just the problems that I've faced. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ وَبِلْ Islam, I'm happy with Allah, I'm happy with Islam. وَرَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِلْ إِسْلَامِ دِينَا وَبِمُحَمَّدْ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ نَبِيَّا And I'm happy that Muhammad وسلم, represents me. And I don't care what other people have said about him that don't know him. I don't care what other people have misspoken about him or characterized him or lied about him as. I know who my Nabi is. I'm confident with my Allah. I'm confident with my faith, with my path of life. I love my Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who loved me and loves me and will be a person who I look forward to being in Jannah with because he struggled in life. In his life, he struggled so much that Islam would be conveyed and carried until it reaches us today and to those who will come after us. I love Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I love Allah. I love my Islam. I love my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remind yourself of that every morning, which is meant to bring you to a moment of positivity. It's meant to say to you, hold on a second, I know I went to sleep and I was upset last night, but here I am, it's a new morning, it's a new day and the sun has risen and I have a new start and it might not be the best day, I might not be able to solve the problem all today and it might be that there's going to be a new change in my life and I can't go back to the life before, but I'm happy with Allah. I'm happy with Islam and I'm happy with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That becomes a source of you finding inner peace. And that's where Allah tells us in the Quran, Ala bi dhikrillah, is it not through remembering your place with Allah that your heart will find tranquility? That that contentment, rida with Allah, contentment and comfort with Allah in all of the circumstances of life allows you then to say, I don't need 
to do this haram thing to find happiness. I'm happy to stay away from it even if the whole world does it. And I'm going to be the one who does what's right even if the whole world does what's wrong. Why? Because I want to please Allah because I am pleased by Allah. I'm pleased by my faith and I am pleased to follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.